Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. Today we're not playing Space Engine. We're playing a different game called Universe Sandbox because apparently I have it. So I will continue to make Space Engine content from now on, but ha I will still use Universe Sandbox and Space Engine. So I will play these two games. However, right now I'll be playing Universe Sandbox for my first Universe Sandbox video ever on my channel. We're gonna show you what will happen if we replace the sun with different stars, so you can see the sun over here. So now we're going to see what will happen to Earth, and you can see Earth before. It looks like the Earth with life and everything, business as usual on the Earth has has all the features, has a tempered surface, and that's with the sun. So let's see what will happen if the sun got shifted. So the first thing we are going to replace with the sun is Alpha Centauri A. And let's see if anything happens if we replace Alpha Centauri A with the sun. So let's let's see what will happen if all of if Alpha Centauri was replaced. Now, hold on a second. Alright, if I press time here, let's see what will happen to the Earth's temperature with Alpha Centauri. And as you can see in the habitable zone, you can see it didn't change that much. So, because Alpha Centauri is just slightly larger than the Sun. So, let's speed up time and see what will happen to the Earth with Alpha Centauri. As you can notice, it's getting hotter. You can see it's going up to like 12 degrees, now 13, 14, 15 degrees, 16. Let's speed up time more. Oh, you can look look at the temperature of the Earth. It's going up to, it's getting up to like 40 degrees. It's entering a greenhouse effect. All right. After several years, the Earth is is 50 degrees Celsius, and as you can see, some of the plants have died out in the equator as it gone so hot, but the oceans still remain. So, in general, not much happened to the Earth except for the ice caps melting and the plants dying because of the hotter temperatures on the Earth. Because Alpha Centauri is way larger than the Sun and more luminous than the Sun. So now, Alpha Centauri A, let's see what happens if we replace Alpha Centauri A with something else, which is B, which is Proxima Centauri, which is part of Alpha Centauri. And let's see if anything changes with, with Proxima Centauri. And let's see what happens to Earth. So right now, Earth is not much usual. You can see it's gone dimmer already. There's like not, not that much light anymore. So let's speed up time, and eventually we will know that Earth will probably freeze because the habitable zone is so close to its star. So let's speed up time. As as four days a second happens, the Earth slowly cools down. If we speed up time faster, you can see Earth is actually really cooling down. It's actually it's actually decreasing temperatures and slowly but surely everything will freeze up over time as you can see it dropped to the now you can see all of the land freezing and eventually the oceans will also freeze as well as you can see that as time passes the oceans slowly freeze earth's Earth's ESI and life likelihood begins decreasing very quickly. You can see now it's dropped to 50% for Earth similarity. And its life likelihood is also dropping as like 60% now. As over time, Earth is eventually cooling down. As, as the life likelihood drops and eventually... It drops down directly to zero. That means life has completely died out on the Earth. And now that's what happens if you replace the Earth with a red dwarf star. But what happens if you replace a red, it with something else? Let's say an A-type star, such as such as Formahalt A. Let's see what happens if you replace with with Formahalt A. Formahalt A is a very large star and actually it's a planet, but we won't add them now because we're doing a what if we replace the sun video. And you can see the habitable zone has stretched into Jupiter's orbit, so in, in, even though Proxima Centauri made the Earth colder, 
Let's see what will happen with former Halt A instead of the Sun. So let's see if we unpause the time in 3, 2, 1, go! And this is the Earth, completely frozen after the events of Proxima Centauri. You can see it is slightly getting like a bluish tinge color to it in how much light is receiving. But as time goes on, Earth will get hotter. Let's see what will happen with former Halt A instead of the Sun in our solar system. And you can see it is now it is going up very quickly. Everything you can see the land has melted, but the oceans are going to soon melt as the temperatures pass 100 degrees. And you can notice something else: Earth's atmosphere is slightly getting thicker and thicker, as you can notice because of the runaway greenhouse effects going on, as all the waters are evaporating as well. As time goes on. Earth's temperature reaches over 300 degrees Celsius, and over time, it passes to 500 degrees. That's just by putting former Halt A instead of the sun. Now, you all know what time it is now. We're going to do something very, very, very lethal to the solar system. We're going to replace the sun with... You guessed it. We are going to replace the sun... With with you with Stephenson two one eight. Let's see what happens to the solar system if Stephenson two one eight appears. Oh no! It looks like Stephenson two one eight just swallowed every planet except for Uranus and Neptune. How sad is that? Let's pa unpause the time and see what happens to all of the planets when I when Stephenson two one eight replaces the solar system. Oh, hey, look at that. Let's go and see what happens to to Pluto's temperature now, because Earth just got completely destroyed. And as you can see, yeah, Pluto is getting hotter. All the Kuiper belts getting hotter. Look at this, 1,500 degrees. It's literally getting... De oh, Pluto just got destroyed by 7 to 218. It's that hot. Now let's go to Uranus. Completely getting vaporized by 7 to 218. With Pluto gone, a lot of the Kuiper Belt is slowly getting destroyed by 7 to 218. Insane temperatures. Uranus is also getting extremely hot. And yeah, this is 7 to 218. But no, we're definitely not done. <laughs> now, we're gonna replace the sun with something else. Something that is insanely hard to deal with. Something that is very, very harsh to the solar system. That's right. We're gonna replace it with Ada Carina A. That's right, it's a big blue super giant star. Let's see what happens with Ada Carina A, a wolf rayet star. Completely gonna vaporize the solar system. See, it's smaller, but it's still lethal. Look at the habitable zones, literally that far out. And let's play time and see what happens. There we go. It looks like all the planets are slowly getting hotter and hotter, and eventually something will happen to them. Uranus completely, completely drenched in a lot of vaporization, and eventually we'll see as the Eta Carina A will slowly cause the entire solar system to be completely torrid. So good luck surviving an Ada Carina A, and let's and we still have not caused any issues. But what happens if we replace the sun with something that isn't real? What if we increase the size of Ada Carina A by a little bit? And here we go. Ada Carina A is getting hotter and hotter. It's now larger than Stevenson 218. Let's make the luminosity hotter. And oh my god, look! Now all the Kuiper Belt's gone, and eventually the entire solar system is gonna get vaporized in Ada Carina A. It's insane temperatures. Oh no, it reached 10,000 degrees. It's getting hotter and hotter as it continues vaporizing. Uranus is now blue in color. It's gonna be destroyed by Ada Carina. And here we go. The entire solar system has officially been destroyed by Ada Carina A as we expanded Ada Carina A. So everyone, please subscribe to the channel for more Universe Sandbox content, and if you want to bring this entire solar system back from Ada Karina's fiery blue f power, so make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want some more content, because I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you again soon. Adios!